Hi everyone, it's Caroline from True Crime Chat with Mommy Ramblings, and I'm here with another update in the Lori Vallow, Chad Daybell case. Right now we have the family confirming that the remains found are JJ and Tylee, and they've issued statements. So we're going to read some statements from JJ Vallow and Tylee Ryan's family, as well as statements from Chad Daybell's brother the Cox family, and Melanie and Ian Pawlowski. We're going to get into that right now. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome. We're glad you're here. If you like this kind of content and a full lifestyle channel that offers a lot more, I invite you to click on the subscribe button in the lower corner of the video so that you can be part of the best community on YouTube. Now let's go and see what's going on here. So Larry and Kay Woodcock issued the following statement earlier this afternoon. The Woodcocks and the Ryans are confirming that the human remains found by law enforcement on Chad Daybell's property are indeed our beloved JJ and Tylee. We are filled with unfathomable sadness that these two bright stars were stolen from us and only hope that they died without pain or suffering. Once officially confirmed, statements from the Rexburg Police, the Medical Examiner, and the FBI will be released. We ask that you respect our family's privacy while we grieve. We have only just been told of the loss of our loved ones and need time to process. We are not granting interviews at this time and hope you all understand that this is the worst news we will ever get in our lives and want to be left alone for the time being. Thank you, Larry and Kay Woodcock and Colby and Kelsey Ryan. Tylee Ryan's aunt, Annie Cushing, issued this statement. Thank you for the overwhelming outpouring of love for Tylee and JJ throughout this crisis. My family and I eagerly await the results of the identification of the remains and autopsies but I've hoped that there will be resolution and closure in the near future. As sad and taxing as this protracted investigation has been, I've been deeply touched by the heartfelt expressions of grief, kindness, and support throughout this process. Tylee and JJ won the hearts of people all across the globe. I've seen and have been impacted by both the worst and best of humanity. Hopefully, goodness and justice will win out in the end. We ask for privacy in this difficult time. Matt and Heather Daybell issued this statement. The events of the past nine months have weighed heavily on our family. It has been one of the most difficult things we have ever had to go through. Some in our extended family are still struggling to accept the reality that Chad could have been involved in something so terribly wrong. On behalf of myself, my wife Heather, and our four children, we express our most sincere sympathies to Larry and Kay and to JJ and Tylee's entire extended families. We are devastated by today's news and the apparent role that Chad has played in what has transpired. Heather and I have communicated many times in person and by phone with Larry and Kay over the past several months. They have been examples of courage, strength, and kindness to us throughout this difficult trial that they have been forced to endure. Throughout this ordeal, we have supported one another in pursuit of the truth and will continue to do so. They have been praying for our family as we have prayed for them. Our heartfelt love and prayers continue to go out to them and their family at this very difficult time. We also continue to pray for Tammy and Chad's adult children and their spouses. Because of the difficulty of this situation, our relationship with them has been significantly strained. As a result, we have had no contact with them or Chad for the last many months. We do not know where his children stand at this time, 
as such we ask for patience and compassion for them and for all of our extended family as we cope with the horrific events that have come to light matt and heather daybell the cox family janice and barry summer melanie and ian is deeply saddened by the recent findings in the investigation into the whereabouts of JJ and Tylee. Their love for them knows no bounds. The family has maintained a strong hope and belief that they were alive and well. With that hope and belief apparently shattered, they struggle to find comfort and hope in this potential new reality. They miss JJ and Tylee very much. The family is very grateful to those who have expended so much time and effort in trying to locate them. The family expresses their deep and abiding love for JJ and Tylee. The family will continue to closely watch the developing situation and will anxiously await the pending conclusions with heavy hearts. The family extends their gratitude to all those who have expressed their love and concern for JJ and Tylee and feels the strength of their faith and prayers. So that's the update here. And I think a lot of us are standing here, sitting here, wherever we are, with heavy hearts that it's come to this, even though most of us felt this was the end that would come in this case. <clears throat> and now at this point, what we can be focused on besides offering prayers and comfort to the grieving families of these dear children is that justice is served for the people responsible. And of course, we'll be bringing you those updates. Rest in peace, JJ and Tylee. And let justice be done.